Hey guys, it's Al from Altruistic Channel. I am actually on my private account because I wanted to address kind of more of the collective directly. Um, as many of you know, anybody who actually follows this uh, or taps into it every now and then. Um, Al on Altruistic Channels are all, is my private account. And it's more of inner dialogue I feel for the, the collective consciousness, people who are on the path and, are, are, and I don't need to like catch people up, so to speak. Um, and then Altruistic Channels in and of itself, it's an entity that's more like a mediator. It's like introducing people to the path and it, it, it has its own set of things that I just separated into two. Um, just for time and efficiency. And sometimes spirit wants me to say, like, I, I feel um, the urge from it, either my higher self or, well, I'll, I'm not going to answer that question. Um, but you know what I'm thinking. Like, it's all interconnected. But uh, so it's sometimes it's a time efficiency thing. So I just understand that this is directly to the collective. So I was just watching one of my, one of people one of the people that I enjoy looking at and that I enjoy the way that he speaks and I enjoy what he says because he says it very honestly but with a lot of energy and it's just great to watch him and that's the uh, the King of Leo the Leo King um, and I just enjoy his stuff but he was just talking very eloquently about the uh, twin flame dynamic and how people are giving him shit for an article that he wrote. Um, in his magazine, where he basically calls people out in a very amusing way. <laughs> and so I'm going to speak to the more grounded aspect of that, which is from a leadership standpoint in general. Here's the thing. When you are, and this is what I'm getting from where we're at right now. It is very important to understand that there is a massive separation that has just occurred. Judgment has been called. It's too late to change it. It's fate. It's set. But what was being asked is that some of us on the planet, not everyone, is going to get their, uh, their um, twin flame this lifetime. Remember that. That's very important. Second, you, the twin flame is not just about you and self-serving your love needs. Because in the end, if you know the evolution of what's happening, you, it's not going to play out the way that you think anyway. So just you've got to let go of this dream, in, this fantasy existence with the other person. The truth of the matter is that when it comes to a twin flame, you are tied fate-wise to another fucking human being, and they have to live up to what you're doing. And you have to mirror each other, in a sense. And you have to be willing to do the work. At first, when you meet, it's cute. It's according. So you begin, and it's two people who have had their own lifetimes destined to be united and intertwined in their fate. When it's their time, they rise together, and they do incredible things. That is the future. However... You have to understand the dynamic that's playing out. So you're not only forgetting who you are and you're having to relearn and re kind of step into your power in your own life, but you also pick the poison that you were most afflicted with and the thing that will remedy it, like whatever your, uh, whether it's too much work or drugs or alcohol, whatever, you pick up your own fucking vice. And so does the other person. And so understanding that the harder you've had your life, which means that you are destined to higher and higher expectations and you're going to do more in this world because you are transmuting negative energy. into. So the more negative energy you have, be ready. You're going to then transfer it into extremely powerful, positive, super light, light information. Like it's going to be very bomb-like on the planet in a very good healing way. But it comes from pain and suffering. So if you're in a twin flame, which is what everybody wants to be in, you're doing it times two. And so when you come into your dynamic, and if you do not hate each other at first, then you're not with your twin fucking flame. Your twin flame and you do not, you're going to repel. It's two sides of the same coin running into each other, only they don't know that they're meant to be. And it literally is the reflection of you. So if you've done the work, yes, it's going to be magical and loving. And it's going to be one for the roads, because, uh, one for the books, because I've never seen that happen. If two people have come into their twin flame dynamic and they are immediately in love, I'm going to question the situation and look at you both because it just doesn't make sense. You ha you pick up your own baggage. Having said that, it makes sense in theory that if you have both have done your work or don't have that bad much of karma to sift through, that maybe you can step into it. It's a different type of dynamic. But for those of us who are like people and like have lived lifetimes and we're like older souls and now we're being tasked to like do this and this and that and we're just like, fuck this. Like It's just a lot on your plate. If that's not the level that you're at with your twin flame, then it's time to question where, who you're with. Are you with someone that's a karmic or is it actually your twin flame? Because your twin flame is going to test you and you're going to push each other's buttons until you get to a pace of, um, of understanding mutual dynamic, right? And then the frequency starts to go together and it creates a harmonious like, and it's like music, but it even happens in argument. And it, it, it's that dynamic where you're basically reflecting back on each other and it's a tool for the soul to understand, okay, 
he's acting like an asshole. What am I doing? And you take responsibility for your end of it before you ever... You, it's, a, it's a mutual respect thing. Not everybody gets to then go on with that way, okay? There is all of that is a beginning phase to test you and your partner. And even though your fates are tied... God, spirit, whoever you believe in, is not going to tie your fate forever to another person. It is still the initial phase of it. You are being brought into each other in a big, like, a cataclysmic way to your life. And it is going to shake the core of everything you are. Because now, it, typically, this happens to people who are very, pers like, a very independent personality. Then get runs into their twin flame. And you realize, shit, it's me times two. And then you literally start to see where the, because you're going to be a healer or whatever your task is. So you're going to see what it is in the other person that you're, going, you're being asked to then do outwardly, right? From within and then spread out. If the other person does not step up to the plate, you have a hard choice to make. And I hate to tell you, but it's already been made. Okay. So here's what he was, what the, the Leo King was trying to say in a very humorous way. I'm calling your shit. It's time to just step into this. The truth is this. If the other person and you are not ready at this point, he, they're not going. You're on your own. You need to consciously make the decision to acknowledge that so that spirit knows that you're ready for what's to come and that your, your fate has now changed. It is not anything that the other person or you did. Even, it could be you because of whatever fears or inadequacies or whatever you were trying to work through through the shadow. But some people don't always go into it like some of us do. And for Twin Flames, this is especially important to understand right now. You are incredibly important to the plan. And if you are in a Twin Flame, because not everybody's going to be again in a Twin Flame this lifetime. If you are already set, then you are incredibly powerful within who you are. And you were destined to do something with another party that was going to blow the fuck up and just be amazing. Because you are amazing. But if someone doesn't step up and do their part, then unfortunately they don't go. It's It's... You can't, it's free will. It is one of the blessings of life. I will, free will. Like, it, it, it is something that you must, I, I hope I didn't give an answer to anything, but it, you know what I mean. It, it is part of who you are. And so, in the best loving way, you have to honor the other person to just say, they need to work through some more stuff. But unfortunately, there was a deadline and we all knew it. And I need everybody to just focus on what that means. That means that the romantic aspect of this is over. It's time to step up to mission. We are leaving. It has happened. Judgment is called. Everybody's getting their justice in one way or the other. If you did both did the work and you're marrying each other properly, you're going together. Great. It's like Noah's fucking ark. Congratulations. But the reality is most of us probably not so much because it's not our fate. Our fate was then uh, because one of us stepped into it and one of us maybe did not. And it was a choice. And like my twin flame is one of the most powerful people I've ever met. But I, he knows I'm leaving. Uh, like I'm off. And it wasn't anything personal, but it had to happen in order for me to step into my leadership role of whatever is to come. I'm building now a lecture series for something that hasn't yet played out for you. But it, I know you know what I mean. Like there are things that are, are coming into our sense of self, into our reality that we are manifesting. But it's because it's already been it's upper. Someone has handed this to me. And it's very clear that I have to make this choice. So on the back end of this, I need everybody to just understand that you're basically being called on your shit. You were no some people were kind of looking at the twin flame as a lucky break that you were able to kind of your your fates were tied, but you can kind of blame each other for like if things didn't go right. Some of you don't get that opportunity. You are literally going forward on your own. It is a big, massive fuck up it, it, and not in them, but like it's a new dynamic that wasn't exactly planned out. It was at the end, another person's choice. And so you had to sever. The, the queen of just uh, the um, queen of swords, cut it. You have to cut it and sever it consciously, and then be like, if this person does what they're going to do, I'm RSVPing for them on the other side of this. But if they don't, I'm going by myself. And you have to make that conscious choice because you're tying your fate for the next forty fucking years if you don't. This is a very mag magnanimous time in our history, and it's very important for me. I, I feel you can hear it in my in my passion. It, that you understand what's happening, okay? This begins around the summer, the winter solstice, around the 26th. 
geez, I wonder who else was born around, oh, I don't know, the 24th, 25th, and what that might be saying about our future and about our destiny and who we're having to tap into, what consciousness level we're... Ask yourself these questions because it's going to make a big difference as to how you experience this transitional phase. Because for me, it's been a fucking shit show. It's been like, I, I mean, that's part of where the clarity finally came in because the spirit was kind of like, it was, he basically looked at me, I'm representing what happened internally, but he basically looked at me and goes, here, I need you to see your future. You need to make the choice. And then turn around and fucking walked away from me. Like I had to, and I'm looking at it like, motherfucker, what? Well, how does this work? What does this mean? What, what? And I had all these fucking questions because now it's like, what was originally tied together is now severed and you have to actually make the choice to do that on behalf of the other person too because you can't, you're not going to sink your ship because you love someone because then you're not really loving them because I'm, I'm saying, look, fucker, we're go I'm going, I've gone. You better get your shit together so you can come with because it's very clear that that's the dynamic that we're supposed to be together, but I can't make him do the work. So I'm not going to, I'm not going down with the ship. He's coming with me. So ask yourself, if you love this person, then you've got to let go and you got to walk forward right now because your fate is literally being handed to you. And it's now time in this moment that I'm telling you this, it's very important for you to look around and look at what is being tasked of you. And understand what time period this is beginning in and what the next 40 years of your life may look like. And say to yourself, cut the shit. Are we going or not? Because we're leaving and it's done. The fate's set. We can't do anything for the other person. It's now time for you to step into your power. The question is, are you ready to step into the conscious level that we're stepping into right now? And if you're not, then don't. But it's the game's over as far as... Uh, hiding behind insecurities and stuff. You, We're at a frequency level, like even I can feel it. I can't feel the vibration thing that everybody talks about, but I can feel the momentous, the, the, the expression of self getting more and more in alignment. And it's not anything with ego, anything, but it's a very arrival. There's a very me presence that even I can tell when I walk into a room. Uh, people just like, what the, he's different. What's, what's up with the cancer? Cancer has a whole new fucking bag going on right now. There's so much going on in the cancer scope and especially in Capricorn, you know, our other side. It's the father and mother. Think about it. Father and mother, twin flame dynamic that is now a rival. Okay, basically look at it from that standpoint too if it helps you think of it that way. But at the end of the day, understand that this is something that was meant to be. And you cannot mourn the relationship. There's another question to ask yourself. One, if the other person loves you, then why didn't they do the work and go with you? A hard truth. Look at that. Because you are about to anchor yourself to somebody that may actually have just had a selfish moment for whatever reason. And didn't want to do the work or didn't, because we both had the same opportunity and it was hell on earth for me. So, you know, it was hell on earth. And so we're beyond the point of male, female, because we are aligning, we are aligning the male dynamic and the female dynamic within. So we can't reside behind that secret anymore. Like it's, that's bullshit. We know that that's shit. And now we're being asked to go beyond that. There's equality all the way across here. And so then you can't hide behind that. And now you can't hide behind your twin flame. And now you're in front of the judge and he's looking at you like, so what are we doing? That's it for Alan Altruistic Channel. Good night.